Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back at it again. Wanted to give you a quick update on the All Pro Football Editor and show you a couple things I've worked on uh, today to add some improvements to the application. So let's get ahead and get started here. Um, first thing you got to do is drag a file in or you can always open one from the menu. Uh, go ahead and drag this file in here ask if you want to go in online mode let's go ahead and choose yes i'll make this a little bigger so you guys can get a better view so i fixed some issues um minor things one of them just was i think somebody complained about the uh was it the attributes the abilities they were saying clutch was being overlaid by fourth quarter comeback so I went ahead and put a little bit more space there just to open that up I didn't really see an issue on my machine but I figured I'd open it up so so we can get them past that um, I also highlighted the two abilities that I guess are new if anybody has any out there that they want to um, if they want to update to different you know a different color then let me know but it, somebody had mentioned to highlight or organize things that are new compared to the old editor that Finn created so I went ahead and just um, updated that if you know if the audience or the community doesn't like it then I can always take it off it's not a big deal uh, this page is the same so I don't think there's anything more in terms of this area the, the major thing I worked on today since my last video was uh, the teams so initially when you would change your team name you you wouldn't see it reflect in the menu so if you were to change this to you know another team like the bears you wouldn't see it reflected up here or in the right click menu or the logo up here so i added the ability to recognize a name or i'm sorry a logo based on the name that you change for your team so if I happen to pick uh, the Bears, it's going to update not only the team name in the text box, but it will also update the header for the team, and it will also um, change the image on the team logo on the very top right. And thirdly, it will update the image on the uh, right-click menu pop-up menu so if you pick a team that is sharing a logo like the Americans this is my second created team on my file they're sharing the Americans CPU team so if I happen to change either one of these then they'll both reflect the same actually you know what that may not be right let me I think I'm getting my my uh, wires crossed here so if I change my created team, yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying it right. I'm going to get to that in a minute. So these are actually separate. So you can change your team name, and it will go with whatever team name is um, matches the logo. So if I want to pick the Americans, which you know I don't have here anymore. Um, you know you can do that but this is this is made just for the NFL because I'm in online mode so so they change um, I also fixed an issue with the user control team my last video I mentioned that there wasn't an issue but there actually was a little issue that I had to fix so now it truly does lock you down so if I wanted to create more than eight um, teams as user control teams I cannot do that I have to make sure that I remove one of the other eight user controlled teams and uh, as long as I'm below eight in my roster file then I can add room for another one and as you can see there if I click the user control team I will get access to that team when I go into the the actual game itself um, the other part that I worked on today was the ability to change logos in the editor only just want to make sure we're clear on that um, and I may even highlight this to be red so that people are aware I'm not changing the logo in the game 
we don't know how to do that. We meaning the community and myself and I don't think it's possible, but uh, this is more for just the, the cosmetics of the editor. So if you guys want to make um, a new team and add a logo onto here to give some uh, more appeal while you're using the editor, then you can do that. So let's say I want to change the red dogs to, let's go ahead and make them the giants. And let's say that I want to pick a different image. Well, what you can do is you can click on this Upload Team Logo button, and you can actually add your own custom image. So let's do that now. So let's go ahead and click on the uh, logo. We get a pop-up. And I'm going to take myself to some logos in here, see what we got for teams. Let's see if I can pick a different pick DK15. No. They have to be a PNG extension, by the way, just so you guys know. And the roster file, I'm sorry, the, the logo actually will be called giants.png because you've changed your name to the Giants. So whatever your team name is, it will change it to that name um, once you import it. So let's just go ahead and pick any random logo here, just for uh, just for the presentation. And let's just say I want to call them the Challengers. I want to show this logo here. Actually, you know what? I got some Bills logos here I want to show. Let's say I want to show this logo. I can click on it and hit open. And see, it'll change the logo for me right then and there. I'll also change it in the menu. So if I want to try another one, I can do it for this one here. Let's do go a little bit faster this time and I'll just pick the Cowboys who who lost today, which I'm not, you know, I'm not a fan, so don't really mind. But but that call was kind of kind of weak, but um anyways, pick the Cowboys and there you go. The Federals now have the Cowboys logo only in the editor. I'll make sure I mention that. <laughs> I don't want to confuse confuse people here. Um, I think that's pretty much it in terms of the online mode changes. Now the offline mode changes, I did have some things that I had corrected today that I found were issues. One of them being the uh, it's the team area again and. Um, it really wasn't even saving the name, so if I wanted to pick a different name, let's say I want to call them Panthers, what's cool about it is as soon as you click anywhere else, it will automatically change the logo to be, um, and the name to be that new name. So if I want to call it Pan, if it finds a logo, it'll put the logo in here. If it doesn't find it, let's say I put Panthers with an extra S in there change focus it'll change the name but it'll also you know put you with a default APF logo now let's say I want to upload an image and I haven't even tried this but let's just try it see I get an error so I'm gonna have to fix that um, before I release the next version but uh, that's a that's I guess an issue there I need to see why that's doing that but um, let me go back to just go back and do this final test for you here. Uh, my rosters. Let me just go this way. All right. Let's just pick this roster here. Start up the editor and let me show you that last piece one more time. So you can go ahead and make changes here to your names. You can call them, you know, if you call them a real team and it's in the system, then like I said, you'll see it there. If it's a team that's not in there, you really you won't see it. I mean that's that's the gist of, of what uh, what I the change I made for for offline. So that wasn't working before, and now it is.
keep that in mind. Um, and I do need to work on that issue that we just uncovered, but just wanted to share that with you guys. It took me some time to do today. It took me a few, I'd say a good four to five hours to get all this stuff working um, today on and off because this menu and these changes were not always reflecting the change and I'd run into issues. And as you can see now, I still have one more issue. So there's still a little bit of work left, but I think it makes it a lot cleaner because when you make a change now, you actually have some more control in the editor to what you're seeing and you feel like that change has been committed. So, all right, just want to uh, say thanks again for watching and leave any comments if you like the video. If you don't, go ahead and rate it. Um, and uh, I'll be back next time.